it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So we are now on to week three of the newts, and I think so far I have done a pretty good job. I have kicked some booty. I think I've gotten 10 of my newts completed so far, so woohoo. By the way, it is Tuesday, August 13th, and it's about a quarter after 8 p.m. I didn't really vlog anything yesterday. Uh, well, I did film stuff, but it's for my time lapse because I'm working on my library. Um, and I was going to film some of Xander at tennis, and I brought my camera along, but I totally forgot. Yesterday, I did do some reading, though. I decided I was going to listen to the audiobook of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And I did this because Pearl was going to be with me and English is obviously her second language. And she was following along in the story. So she was following along while I listened. And it was a super fast like audiobook. I think it only took us like an hour and 45 minutes. We didn't listen to it very fast because again, English is her second language. But oh my gosh, the art in this edition is just stunning. Every once in a while while we were like sitting and watching Xander play tennis, I would look at the art. So pretty. Um, but yeah, we just listen to the first book. I loved it. It was just absolutely ridiculous. This was one of my like favorite childhood classics. And this actually completed, which challenge? Hold on. This completed my Acceptable in Potions, which is Polyjuice Potion, read your friend's favorite book, and this is my friend Cody over at Cody's Book Corner's favorite childhood classic. So I read this and loved it so much, and it was, like I said, a super quick read, and I give it five stars. And I'm continuing working on Always Never Yours by Emily Wimberly and Austin Segman Broca. I haven't read very much today. I only like a chapter, so I'm on page 56 now. My goal is to finish this this week. Also, I need to catch up on Exile with Xander. Speaking of which, I just realized I need to put him in bed because it's after his bedtime now. Technically, it's after my bedtime too because I'm supposed to be getting up at 4 a.m. with him, but Marty is being awesome and he is waking Xander up at least these past couple of days because of the schedule that he's on. So Marty is going to wake Xander up in the morning and take him to the bus stop and then he can go on to work from there. So I don't have to go to sleep at stupid o'clock and I don't have to wake up at stupid o'clock and I love it. But it's only for a couple of days so I can't get too used to it. But yeah, I need to go and get him in bed and... I'll probably come back in a little while because I have lots of goodies I want to show you that I didn't get around to showing you last week. So I'm going to put him to bed and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So I have lots of goodies that I got either yesterday or today or um, I got last week and didn't get around to showing you guys. So we'll start with this package. I ordered some sweet legs. Now, I don't know if this helped support her or not, but I want to try to help and support, you know, other creators when they have, you know, something cool going on. And one of my favorite booktubers to watch is Books and Lala, and she works for a company called Sweet Legs. And so I clicked on her link and checked out some sweet legs, and I bought a couple pairs. So it comes in this cute little package when you take it out of the, uh, FedEx package. It says self-confidence is the best outfit. Rock it and own it. And it's got sweet legs all over it. Oh cute. Okay. So it comes with a, a sweet legs sticker. And they sent a little a fingernail file. It says hello gorgeous. And then their website and stuff on the back. And then I've got my receipt here. And it comes wrapped in tissue paper. 
Okay, there's also a little card here um, on how to care for your sweet legs and warranty and that kind of stuff. So I ordered three pairs. I'm so excited because they're super cute. I hope they fit. Oh, they're really soft. So this first one is called Mermaid Tails. And it's got like mermaids and anchors and starfish and jellyfish and seahorses. Love that. I really hope they fit. I'll have to try them on later. They have like more, you know, a couple of different sizes. I think I just got like the regular size. They're really, really soft. Like this one's kind of almost velvety feeling, but it's not velvet. I don't know, but I love them. I think they're super pretty. Oh, this next pair is actually what inspired me to go on Sweet Legs because uh, Kayla was wearing them in her video and showing them off, and I love them. This pair is called Luna, and they're like black cats and books perfect <laughs> and then the last one is called cosmic comic which is really cute i really like these they're like a sci-fi comic strip how stinking cute are they i love that they're all so soft oh my goodness in the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> the search for the sweet legs continued. Oh my gosh, how cute! There can only be one. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, so I will be trying these on probably in the morning and I hope they fit because I'm looking forward to wearing them. They're so cute. Okay, next is this thing here I ordered. Very seldom will I ever order anything from the ads of like Facebook or Instagram or whatever, but this is one I actually found off of, I think, Instagram. And I was like, that's really cool. And it is this New Everest, or sorry, Nuverest um, map. And it's one of those scratch maps. Okay. So we have a little baggie here. And what do we got inside the baggie? Okay. We've got our little scraper. We got a little cloth here. Uh, I think this is like maybe a double sided sticky things to hang it up maybe. And then a little bag of push pins. It's a little smaller than I expected it to be, but that's okay. So it looks like this, but what was really cool about it is what's down here on the bottom. It's a bucket list, so it's got little things you can scratch off your bucket list too, like uh, trek the Grand Canyon, go to Brazilian Carnival, visit the pyramids of giza go snorkeling go skydiving swim with dolphins things like that i thought that was really cool and i want to go everywhere <laughs> and i want to do everything so i thought cool this would be perfect although there's like little things to scratch off here like a helicopter ride or there's like a little jellyfish or whales, I guess places you can go diving or something. Very, very cool. Okay, I got it back in there. <laughs> I'm like anxious to plan another trip. I like want to go everywhere. Oh my gosh. I might have to stop with my U.S. trips for a while so I can go to places outside of the U.S. Cause I just, I want to travel the whole wide world. Okay, next I got another book from Amazon Bind program. 
So this is Mother Knows Best by Kira Peikoff, and this is a psychological thriller, and it comes out in September of 2019. This says, there's only room for one mother in this family. Claire Abrams' dreams became a nightmare when she passed on a genetic mutation that killed her little boy. Now she wants a second chance to be a mother and finds it in Robert Nash, a maverick fertility doctor who works under the radar with Jillian Hendricks, a cunning young scientist bit, bent on making her mark and seducing her boss. Claire, Robert, and Jillian work together to create the world's first baby with three genetic parents, an unprecedented feat that could eliminate inherited disease. But when word of their illegal experiment leaks to the wrong person, Robert escapes into hiding with the now pregnant Claire, leaving Jillian to face a legal and media onslaught that all but destroys her. Ten years later, a spunky girl named Abigail begins to understand that all is not right with the reclusive man and woman she knows as her parents. She wants answers, but her innocent search will expose her family to people who want nothing more than to tear them apart. And, oh, I got so many other goodies here. Let's see. Okay, next is a thing that I purchased a long time ago off of, I think it was Indiegogo or Kickstarter or one of those kind of things. And I was like, uh, what's the word? Contributor or whatever. So I am one of the first people to get this. So I don't know if y'all have ever heard of those chameleon, chameleon markers but they decided to come out with some fine liner markers so that's what i got and it's just a whole bunch of them there's 48 chameleon fine liner fine, fine liner markers pens whatever and lots of different colors They look like this and they're super fine point and they write super fine like that what's cool about these and now these are not ready yet I have to like store them upside down for 15 minutes before they're ready to go initially but what's what's really cool is you um you can take the say this red marker or pen or whatever you take it and you want to fade from it to let's say green you take the cap off the green We'll have this green here. So we want to fade from this red to this green. So you take the cap off of each and you put the red into the green and you tilt it this way and hold it there for a little while and then you start writing and it'll, I think it'll start out green and it'll fade over to red or if you want it the other way around and you want it red and fade to green, you put the red cap on the green I'll show y'all at some point later after I've had a moment to charge them up because this little paper when it first when I first opened it it said to uh, we recommend storing them upside down in their package for at least 15 minutes to make sure all caps are fully charged so before we go and start blending them together but yeah, I can show you with the, this. It would work like that. Like you could fade from one to another. And there's like, it says there's 1,128 color combinations. So you can do like multiple colors. Like this one, like if you want to do this pen and then one color cap and then a different color cap, it would fade from the last cap to the middle cap to the pen. It's neat. Maybe I can show you up close like this. I'm not sure how well the color is showing up, but like that. 
And then I also got this uh, A5 notebook, uh, 200 pages dot grid um, bullet journal. And I've never done a bullet journal, so I thought this might be kind of cool. And I could use these cool chameleon fine liners. Anyway, so got that. Really excited to try those out. I have another book from the Amazon Vine program. Okay, this one is Only Ashes Remain by Rebecca Schaefer. And this is book two in the uh, Market of Monsters series. The first book is Not Even Bones, which I've pulled up here on Goodreads to tell you about. And I actually have this book, and I got it signed by the author uh, back at Y'all Fest, I believe it was. But I haven't gotten around to reading the book yet. It says, Dexter meets this savage song in this dark fantasy about a girl who sells magical body parts on the black market until she's betrayed. Nita doesn't murder supernatural beings and sell their body parts on the internet. Her mother does that. Nita just dissects the bodies after they've been acquired. But when her mom brings home a live specimen, Nita decides she wants out. Dissecting living people is a step too far. But when she tries to save her mother's victim, she ends up sold on the black market in his place because Nita herself is a supernatural being. Now Nita is on the other side of the bars and there's no line that she won't cross to escape and make sure no one can ever capture her again. Nita did a good deed and it cost her everything. Now she's going to do a lot of bad deeds to get it all back. And I thought that sounded amazing. So I need to read that one and then I can read this one. And this one comes out in September of 2019. Next up, I have not one unplugged book box, but two unplugged book boxes. And this one Crate Joy sent me. This is the Young Adult Box. And I'm super excited that they sent me this. And I don't, I didn't know if they were going to send it. And I don't know if they were planning on sending me the next one. Next month I may end up getting two young adults because, well, I wanted to ensure that I got the next one. So I ordered it. <laughs> and I also ordered this one myself. The This is the Adult Unplugged Book Box. And I ordered the Adult Unplugged Book Box for next month. There is a, like I said, there's a possibility that I may end up with two of the young adults since Crate Joy sending them to me at the moment. But I didn't know how long they were going to send them. And I didn't even know I was going to get this one because I didn't get an email saying that I was. So yay, I have two to show you. Okay, so inside the young adult one, if I can open it, it looks like this. The theme for August 2019 is Off the Grid. And this is spoilers in the photo challenge. Open up our tissue paper and see what we got. Oh, we got some worms. Okay. Oh, we got a water bottle. Cool. This says, you are more magical than you know. And this is from Netherworld Wake. Focus. Looks like that. Something has a very strong scent in there. Not bad. It smells soapy. Ah, uh, it's probably this. A, a Skyward Flight Bath Bomb. Claim the stars. Yeah, this is totally it. It has a soapy smell, but it's so pretty. It's like a glittery purple. Okay. Something wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, this says Hypatia or Hypatia. Citrus, air, amberwood. I'm guessing this is... I don't even want to guess. Hold on. Let me look at the card here. Uh, oh, yep. I was going to guess it was Illumine. And it is. It's an Illumine candle. 
looks like that. It's a black and glitter candle. Super pretty. Whoa, there's a lot of glitter on top. And it's a wood wick candle. Hmm, it's kind of an interesting smell. I don't really smell the citrus. I do smell the woody smell though. It's not bad. It's, it's a lot lighter smell than that bath bomb. Okay, something wrapped up. Oh, I bet this is the enamel pen. Okay, it says the family business and a uh, uh, car. Looks like that. This says life as a demon hunter is nothing but a family business for Sam and Dean of Supernatural. It also requires many stretches of time living off the grid in their reliable Impala. This is the final collectible from Sarah's favorite fandoms in the series of pins designed by Team Unplugged. Okay. I don't really watch a lot of TV, so I would not have gotten that. Okay, we got Edward's Bite. <laughs> Soothing spray for vampire bites. <laughs> what? <laughs> Made with menthol. Direction, shake bottle. Spray on affected areas as needed. Let dry. So it's... Organic witch hazel, organic aloe vera, alcohol, Himalayan sea salt, menthol crystals, and emulsifier. So I guess for bugs, like for bugs or something, like mosquito bites, soothe your vampire bites when you go off the grid in the woods with this twilight inspired anti itch spray created exclusively for unplugged book box by Huge Shop. Okay. Cute. I like that. Plus, where I live, anti-itch spray is a very good thing to have. And then we've got a playlist here, which is always really cool. I enjoy listening to the playlists. And then we have reasons to unplug from work and technology. Cool. And then our book, which has a little star on it. Remember Me by Chelsea Bablowski. Never heard of this one. Oh, and there is a signed book plate. It's black with this uh, blue foil font. This says, the past is never far behind. Nell Martin is moving again, this time to the Winslow Grand Hotel, built in 1878. As Nell is settling in, strange things begin to happen. Doors lock of their own accord, writing appears on bathroom walls, and most horrifyingly of all, visions of a dead boy permeate her waking life. Thinking it's her mind playing tricks on her, she soon finds the past and the present colliding as she learns horrific details of a murder that took place at the hotel in 1907, involving a girl named Leah. Nell and a mysterious boy must relive that day in hopes of finally breaking a curse that imprisons them both, and Nell discovers what truly links her to the history of the Winslow Grand Hotel. Interesting. The back says, In the still, quiet hush of dawn, darkness seeped into the light, skittering across the walls in the form of shadows, and chatter and lilting me melodies of a time long past. Only one soul noticed, but there was nothing that could be done to stop it. Nothing to silence the ghosts, nor to send them back to their shallow graves. All that could be done was to sit and to wait. This sounds really interesting and perfect for the fall. Oh goodness. And then the theme for September for the young adult box is a walk down memory lane and it is their first anniversary box, which is why I ordered it, because I wanted to ensure that I got that. So yeah, I might get two. <laughs> and if I get two, I don't know. I'll probably put the book in a giveaway. The stuff, I don't know. We'll have to see <laughs> once I unbox it. It says, Dear Unplugged Friend, we're so excited to announce that next month there will be an additional minor change in our packaging. This month, we began the changes by including recyclable paper bags to wrap our books. Next month, in an effort to go more green and reduce waste, we will be doing away with crinkle paper in our boxes. Yay! 
you no more worms. Don't worry, we will protect breakables in other ways or on occasion with leftover crinkle paper we have from previous months. September is also an exciting month as it is our one year anniversary of Unplugged Book Box. Can you believe it? We sure can't. Time has certainly gone fast. We will be celebrating our anniversary with some extra special boxes for September just for you as a major thank you for helping us reach one year in business. These boxes have been in the works for quite some time and we hope you love them. As always, your feedback is important to us as a small business. Feel free to reach out to us at support at unpluggedbookbox.com at any time. We hope you enjoy the remainder of your summer and take some time for you. With love, Melanie and Sarah, Unplugged Book Box. Also, I noticed that this month they did not include a letter from the author. I got an email with, um, they like scanned the letter from the author and put those in an email. But I, I don't click on them because I don't want to get spoiled for what the book is. So that's just something if you really want to read the letter from the author, you can get that like... You can check your email and get that if you get the box. By the time I get around to opening my box though, I'm not going to go back and hunt down that email. <laughs> okay, now on to the adult box. Okay, opening this up. Oh, there's the card. <laughs> it looks like this. Okay, so the theme for August is relaxation. Open this up. Oh, lots of worms. Put them in the other box. <laughs> worms, worms. Wow, that's a lot of worms. Okay, first thing we got here. Let's whatever this is. <laughs> Everything's all wrapped up in here. Mermaid Magic 2 ounce Vitamin C Spray used to rejuvenate skin after you find your legs. And uh, it's made by Crunchy Mama. So it's water, sodium, ascorbate, frankincense, and wild orange essential oils. It says Spray on skin and hair after swimming to neutralize chlorine absorption. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder how it smells. Ooh, smells really good. I love that orange smell. And then we got something else wrapped up here. And some cute little washi tape. Oh, it's a book art bookmark. This is cool. So it's kind of like this... Uh... It's like the mask the doctors wore for the Black Plague or something. Let me see what this says. This gorgeous, unique stretch bookmark was created exclusively for Unplugged Book Box by Book Art Bookmarks. Use it to mark the page of this month's book. And that's really all it says. On the back here it does say use code UNPLUGGED for 10% off your next order from bookartbookmarks.com. Okay, we will do this on this book here. So I don't think you want this little guy in the book. So maybe we put it hanging out the bottom. I'm gonna be like that. Or out the top. All right, well that's pretty cool. We have a magnet. It says, all the things that make you different make you perfect from the Kiss Quotent. Another wrapped thing here. I really love all the wrapped stuff. Okay, what is this? Maplewood Farms Marsh Girl Wine Slush Mix. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so it says, add one and a half cups of red or white white wine an entire pack of dry mix plus three cups of ice or three-fourths cup of clear liquor an entire pack of dry mix and one cup of water juice or clear soft drink and three cups of ice blend until desired consistency and then there's like freeze directions 
This is a strawberry sangria. Yeah, baby. I'll definitely be doing that. Then we got another wrapped thing. Okay, it's a little like journal oh, with like recycled paper here. And it's lined and there is a really cute recycled pen. And I, I like the clip at the top. It looks like a popsicle stick. And the front says, life takes us to unexpected places. Sometimes the future is never set in stone. Remember that. And I'm not sure what this is from. Oh, Night Circus. And then we have something that says a bonus item. Oh, it's, oh, this is so cool. Okay, it's a bar of soap here. But it's Area X Glow in the Dark Soap. Fragrance Extraterrestrial. Oh, it smells really good. But it's glow in the dark soap. I mean, I don't even want to use it. It's just really cool. And there's like different colors in there. And the bottom part is silver. That's not part of the packaging. The bottom of it's silver. I don't want to peel the sticker off either. That's so cool. I can't wait to like check it out and see how it glows. <laughs> Okay, then we have our playlist. Cool. And practicing mindfulness. Benefits, guided meditation, things to think about. And then we have our book here. The Arrangement. I think I saw Kayla with this book. Love for Money, What Could Go Wrong. Kayla over at Books and La La. I think I've seen her with this book. Oh, there is a signed book plate. This says, A pretty woman tale turns toxic and deadly in this provocative thriller of sex, obsession, and murder from Robin Harding, the USA Today bestselling author of The Party and Her Pretty Face. Natalie, a young art student in New York City, is struggling to pay her bills when a friend makes a suggestion. Why not go online and find a sugar daddy, a wealthy older man who will pay her for dates and even give her a monthly allowance. Lots of girls do it, Nat learns. All that's required is looking pretty and hanging on his every word. Sexual favors are optional. Though more than 30 years her senior, Gabe, a handsome corporate finance attorney, seems like the perfect candidate. And within a month, they are madly in love. At least, Nat is. Gabe already has a family whom he has no intention of leaving. So when he abruptly ends things, Nat can't let go. But Gabe's not about to let his sugar baby destroy his perfect life. What was supposed to be a mutually beneficial arrangement devolves into a nightmare of deception, obsession, and when a body is found near Gabe's posh Upper East Side apartment, murder. Emotionally powerful and packed with page-turning suspense, the arrangement delves into the sordid, all-too-real world of shadowy relationships between wealthy, powerful men and the young women who are caught in their web. This sounds really good. I'm excited. That's cool. I'm, I'm like really happy with these books because they're not books that I expect to get in any other kind of box. So that's really cool. And then the theme for the adult uh, September box is Memories and it's their first anniversary box. And the back just says the same kind of thing about the changing their packaging and being more green okay so those are all of the goodies that i have to show you i'm gonna have to go and like try on these leggings because i really want to know and hopefully you'll be seeing me wear them soon <laughs> all right i will probably just talk to you tomorrow we're saying goodbye to pearl bye bye i'm leaving today in like 20 minutes yeah we're sad Maybe in two years. <laughs> Say, she, she, she's going to come and visit us, hopefully, for much longer next time. <laughs> two years? Maybe. Yeah, you can come and stay with us for two years. Oh. <laughs>
two years? <laughs> no, I gotta get kicked out of the country I think seriously. <laughs> Not even lying. <laughs> Bye Pearl! It's currently about 8 30 on wednesday august 14th and i am tired i've been tired all day so i ended up staying up until like 3 30 in the morning last night working on trying to get my vlog saved um get it rendered into like one video i had it edited for a while and my software just went and stopped working right and no matter what I did I couldn't get it to work right and I literally stayed up until 3 30 in the morning working on trying to get this saved and uploaded and everything but I couldn't get it uploaded because I could never get it saved <sighs> and then I woke up at like 9 30 this morning and I I had given up at 3 30 I, I, I couldn't do it I was a mess I was just exhausted and frustrated and I went to bed so I woke up at 9.30 and uh, today I worked on trying to re-edit it over from the beginning in a different kind of software that I have which is not as easy to use but at least it works. <laughs> and um, as you saw Pearl just left and oh my goodness I, I just love that kid. Well she's not a kid she's 20 now but She's, my, she's like one of my kids and I just, I love her to death. So I'm sad that she's gone. Uh, hopefully she'll get to come back before too long. And uh, she's got lots of fun adventures ahead of her because when she, she's taking a Greyhound up to Chicago and then tomorrow she's getting on a plane from Chicago to South Korea and then she's there for a couple of days and then she flies to Thailand, which is where she's from and she's only there gonna be there for like five days and then she's flying to Sweden and doing a study abroad there and she'll be in Sweden for five months this girl is not used to the cold she's never seen snow and she's going to spend the winter in Sweden she didn't realize how cold it was gonna be I looked it up and told her all that she had no idea she she doesn't like have sweaters or anything like that so we were like giving her advice on what she needs for there also i looked up the uh amount of daylight that they have there <laughs> there's days that there's only like seven hours of daylight they're um one of the months that she's gonna be there it's gonna be like the sun comes up at like 9 30 in the morning or something like that and then sets at 3 30 in the afternoon yeah she's not she's not thrilled about that i was like girl did, she did no research at all she she knew nothing about where she was going and i'm just like oh my goodness it's gonna be an adventure for her but last night while i was struggling with getting my video not saved really i was reading always never yours and i got to page 121 i'm like halfway through page 121 so i got a good chunk of that read because i was reading it in between waiting for it to render and it'd get like 70 something percent done and go no <sighs> and today i've started listening to the audiobook of grim lovelies and I'm using Hoopla from my library and it's kind of a weird player that they use and I can't use the player I already have on my phone or if I can I don't know how but I'm like an hour and 20 minutes approximately into that and then with Marty I started listening to Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerhill or Summerhill and we got like two hours and 11 minutes into that 
So, cool. Getting those worked on. I figure, you know, Marty and I needed another book. Why not read another one for this readathon? So, yeah, that's where I'm at as far as my reading goes. I'm thinking I'm going to go to bed here in just a little while because I'm so tired. But I also wanted to show you guys, look, they fit. I'm wearing the Luna leggings from Sweet Legs. They're very, very soft, very comfy. I love them. I'm so glad they fit. But yeah, I think I'm going to head to bed. I'm tired. And I will just talk to you tomorrow. My channel is too, y'all. It's my book two birthday. Yay! So it's currently about 11 o'clock on Friday, August 16th, and it is my two year book two birthday. Oh, yay! And y'all just saw my my booktube birthday cake and got me a balloon here i also went and bought some things from hobby lobby today to kind of decorate my library so i thought i'd show you guys real quick hold on so the first thing is this big sign here this is hello fall and on the other side it says a boo to you also, I got a little frame and poster board to use for my map thing that I got the other day. And speaking of maps, I got this really cool one and it's pink and it goes with my library. <laughs> okay, my battery is flashing because of all the time lapse that we did earlier. So I'm going to change that and I'll be right back to show you the rest. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I also got a pumpkin. It's this pretty little metal pumpkin. I thought it was super cute. And it has a place here to put a candle, which I think would look really pretty as well. I also picked up two of their like fall flowers just because I thought they were really pretty and they would go great with like some Instagram pictures or something. So we have this black rose with purple glitter super pretty and then we have i don't know what kind of flower this is but it's like this it it looks metal but it's actually plastic and like gold foil kind of flower Let's see if i'll focus on it i just thought it was so pretty so i thought those would be good for pictures and then i got this big pink flower thing to uh put in my library because it's just cute and it's pink <laughs> and uh little bit of info about something that's going to be in my library i have a day bed in there and so i thought i'd hang this over it it says bed i love you <laughs> and then there's also this it says she created a life she loved there we go if y'all didn't catch a theme here it's pink okay now on to my reading so yesterday xander and i continued exile uh we got to page 57 nowhere close to where we need to be and i told him we were going to have to spend a lot of time reading this weekend so i can get to where i need to be in that book marty and i between yesterday and today have continued listening to ever the hunted by aaron summerall and this doesn't tell you a percentage it just tells you your time and right now we're like six hours and 14 minutes into it and we have about five hours and 13 minutes left Though that's, I think, the time it is without the adjusted speed. So I don't know exactly how long we have left. I think we're listening to it at like 1.5. I'm not a fan of using this particular uh, player, I guess. I wish that there was some way that 
I could play it on my other player, but I don't know. And then I listened to a little more of Grim Lovelies. And I'm two hours and six minutes into that. And it says I have 10 hours and 10 minutes remaining. But again, I think it doesn't adjust the time that it takes. I don't know that it's showing the adjusted time at the speed that I'm listening to it. I have a hard, I can't word. <laughs> okay. So, oh, and always never yours. I can't remember where I was the last time I checked in with this, but I'm on page 127 of this right now. So over a third of the way, but not quite half. And that's where I'm at with all of my reading. And I think that's it for now. We've done some more work on the library. Today we did, uh, we built some more bookshelves. Yay. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I think I might go, well, I was going to say I might go and work on the library some more, but really I need to do some editing because I'm kind of behind on everything. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that and I'll just talk to you tomorrow. Actually, I'm back and it's not tomorrow yet. It's like two seconds later. I want to do a little something special because it's my two year booktube birthday. So probably my favorite video to film are these reading vlogs. They're a lot of fun to film. I love showing you guys just everything going on and I love the finished product. I absolutely hate editing them. I mean, I don't like editing any of the videos, but editing the reading vlogs is probably the worst to edit just because it takes so long. But they are my favorite videos. And I really, really appreciate all of you that actually watch these vlogs. So as a thank you for being a subscriber and for watching my vlogs, and I'm not going to advertise this in the title or the description or on any other platform or anything. But for the first person that comments down below and says happy booktube birthday, you're going to win, if you're in the US, a $10 book outlet gift card. If you're outside of the US, you can choose a book on Book Depository up to $10. And yeah, that, that's it. Just say happy book to your birthday and the first person that comments that wins. So good luck and <laughs> hope you watch this video this long. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go now and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So here's a little sneak peek of my library. I've gotten quite a bit done. As you can see, I got my walls painted. I got bookshelves up. It's coming along. It's very much nowhere near ready yet though. So not quite ready to do the whole library tour and all that, but hopefully that'll be soon. So it's after nine o'clock. Let's see, it is like 9 17 on Sunday August 8th so I thought I would just go ahead and wrap this video up I've actually been filming and I have more filming to do so before it got too late and I got too tired and didn't want to do the wrap up I thought I'd go ahead and do that now so this week I only completed one book and that was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland I absolutely thoroughly love this. It was five stars for me. It's not the first time I've read it, but it's still a five star book. It's been a long time though since I've read it. And this was just so much fun. I listened to the audiobook and actually let Pearl read along in this beautiful edition of Alice in Wonderland. And she really enjoyed all the art and stuff in it. 
and uh, so did I because I would look over when we were parked because we listened to it while Xander was playing tennis for school. Uh, also, I got quite a bit of other stuff read. It's just I didn't finish anything else. So Xander and I continued reading Keepers of the Lost Cities, book two, which is Exile, and we got to page 166. Granted, we were supposed to get to page 288 today, but that didn't happen. So we managed to get to 166, so not terrible. And uh, hopefully we'll get past 288 and a whole lot more next week. I continued Always Never Yours by Emily Wimberly and Austin Segman Broca, and I'm only on page 144 of this. I was also hoping to finish this this week, but it didn't happen. A book that I actually ended up starting earlier than planned was Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerall. I'm listening to the audiobook with Marty for this because we finished um, that other book we were listening to, The Wife Between Us. We finished that pretty early on in the month, so we started listening to this. And right now we're on page 252, so not too much left of it. And I've also been listening to Grim Lovelies on Hoopla. And this doesn't tell you, like, your percentage. It tells you, like, how much time you've done and how much time you have remaining. But it also doesn't adjust that amount of time based on the speed at which you're listening to. So it says that I'm 2 hours and 6 minutes into it and it has 10 hours and 10 minutes remaining. But I'm listening to it at 1.5 so it's probably more like 7.5 hours remaining. So that is it. That's all I've read. I think I may have put too much light on me. It's very dark in this room right now. I have no uh, ceiling lights in here. I've just got lamps all over and because I don't really have a good spot to film yet, I have lights kind of shining on me in this little nook <laughs> that I've created for right now. This room back here that's all dark and filled to the brim with stuff will eventually be my video room and craft room and all of that. But library first, working on that. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.